You can put a hundred grand on it Anything I said, I stamp on it In a private plane, I lamp on it It was a bit hard to record there at the store because it was packed. But um, I'm just gonna do a quick review with my son. So, oh my God. we're gonna do a quick, quick, quick unboxing of our new crocs. Okay, we will start with Daddy. Uh, my husband got this one. This one. Um, he didn't want crocs, he wanted more of sandal kind of. The color thingy, which we love. And for you, Tampa, come close up this side. Okay. For Tampa, you got this. They look like these ones, eh? but yours are the gold ones. Okay, you got these ones. And then for us girls, we girls, I got these ones. I got this one. See, more like a purplish, pinkish kind of color. I love them. They are so cute. They look so small. They feel like it. <laughs> okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, for my daughter, we got her this one. See this one? This so They are so cute. And she loves them. Um, and then, here we got that we, have, we can decorate our shoes. Yeah. So now we're gonna quickly, quickly decorate. But we don't know how to put them in. No, just okay, let's see. Uh, so we're done. This is mommy's ones. You see, mm -hmm. they've got a little doggy there. It's a love dog. And this one, they've got a. I don't know, whatever that is, but love the color there. Then this one's for Gelly. We kept it simple, pepper pig. Uh, and yeah, something that makes sense there. And then this one is for Tompo. Tompo wanted cell phone, bear, and save me please, the planet. And then this one over here, it has center, it has a soldier. Then it is Mami, Mami, Ninja oh. Turtles. Oh, it's Ninja it's Turtles. Tony from Ninja, Ninja oh, Turtles. Oh, okay. Sorry. This one over here for Daddy. Daddy wanted to keep it simple. As you can see, it just has a dog and some sunglasses of Coca Cola. And then he also has a dog and Friday and another dog. Hmm. You like my miss one? I love dogs. I love dogs, no? Eh? But yeah, you like it, Kelly. How is it? Very comfortable. Mm. Very comfortable. Not like this fake crocs you've been wearing. Yeah. <laughs> it's proper, man. Eh? And looks comfortable. Mm. Bye, Hannah Gelly. <laughs> yeah. Banana. Guys, you see this smile? 
I'm so happy. I'm looking at my garden right now and the spinach. It is ready to go. It is four weeks later and the spinach is happy and it is ready to be harvested. So this is going to be our very first harvest. So I'm going to try and show you guys what the spinach looks like. And I'm just going to get the spinach and go cook it for dinner. But I am so excited. Like, guys, it's like four weeks later. Like, it's ready. Like, it's just looking so good. Hey, I'm just going to quickly show you guys. just cutting the spinach to make some dinner and of course you know my number one assistants they were right there like mommy let us assist you and i was like okay cool do your thing <laughs> and yeah my daughter just insists on helping a lot so my son at this point was like you know what mommy i'm just gonna watch the camera for you but just go and do your thing with your daughter i was like okay cool and then now we're just washing the spinach because um it was um there's a lot of soil and sand you need to make sure you soak it for a few minutes and just wash it nicely that's what my daughter was doing by the way and then of course um soon after big brother was like oh, let me show you how to do it better and then he joined but basically we're just washing it so that it doesn't feel sandy as you're eating it but as you can see everybody was very much involved in this project and everybody actually liked it from there now we just need to change the water and then after that we'll be transferring this onto a pot um so that now we can start cooking it when i cook my spinach i keep it very simple it's basically just salt and water and then i add a little bit of oil at the end but i keep it very simple um i don't add anything else so you'll see even as i cook so i think tonight i'm just gonna make a very simple nice dinner um i'm thinking more of a i don't know beef stew or short ribs and some pap and then spinach but yeah i just want it very simple so that's me just putting it on the stove now and then just cleaning my pot so that i can put some salt in it and then close it off and then from there i can focus on the meat which as you can see i ended up going with short ribs and pap and voila just like that i was done and now it was time to save daddy oh, oh. 
Oh, 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 mommy. Oh, oh, mommy. Oh, thank you. Thank you, mommy. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh. That tastes very good. Mm. It tastes like when you are bee and then you are tasting the honey. Mm. It tastes very good. <laughs> Hmm? What does it taste like? Tastes good, no? Tastes good, very nice, very, mm -hmm. very nice. Yeah, I know. Thank you to the farmer, the gardener. I, I'm glad, I'm glad. The chef. Credit to the cooker. Mm. <laughs> today it's a holiday it's monday and it's just me and my daughter uh, my son his uncle came to take him for the school holidays um so he's gonna be with his cousins unfortunately because this one is still quite little <laughs> can't take her anyway she they usually go together to get to their grandmother if the holidays are longer but september i really find it useless it's just like a weekend few days and then that's it so i basically usually keep them here so his uncle wanted him because his cousins missed him and he missed them so he was like okay cool you can take one i'll stay with one and i think also the advantage is that with her they don't close it at their school right so it's up to me if i want her to have some rest while her brother's on holiday or i still take her to school so because i'm working usually during the day she will still be going to school but yeah now um it's just the two of us today daddy's at work got a call in this morning so unfortunately whatever we had planned we just had to cancel it but yeah we didn't really have anything major planned to be honest but um now i'm just going to the mall with my daughter i realized that she's at a stage where she she loves dresses actually before i talk about dresses let me appreciate this hat because if i can tell you what is underneath this hat you'll be shocked like it was just one of those bad hair days and i didn't want to deal with the hair and the only thing i had to do was wear this hat and my problems were fixed and i look proper so don't ask what's underneath you'll never know but just know that it's a disaster <laughs> but anywho i have picked up that my daughter is at a stage where dresses are starting to make sense um she loves dresses now like you should see her twirl around when you put a dress on her it's like this thing is serious so now it's starting to get more warmer i, j I just don't know man there's the spring this year is just not springing right like it's just a bit all over the places everywhere but now that it's starting to get more warmer i have decided to go and get her a few dresses so these are a few shops that i have in mind for dresses that are affordable because i'm not about to buy expensive expensive dresses especially because she will use most of those dresses to go to school or to be at home so i know my places that i'm expecting to find good dresses is ackermans mr price and edgar's can be a bit pricey i can get a few one or two dresses from edgar's for church maybe but yeah I, I don't really prefer it for casual when it comes to dresses like you find a dress a baby's dress being 250 or 300 just doesn't make sense to me i mean she's just a baby it's fine but yeah basically right now i am going to go to the mall with her and sorry guys that's why you can hear the tablet we are busy with coco melon is the only way to keep the peace in this car but yeah um now i'm going there and i'm gonna get a few dresses i'll try and vlog it's a bit difficult to vlog when you have a child alone but i'll try my best but basically it shouldn't be oh sorry it shouldn't be that hard so yeah let me drive to there and get a few things while we're on that actually um let's talk about this topic of not having a nanny <laughs> hey guys so all my life 
I never had a nanny, right? With my son, I basically did everything myself. And because it was just the three of us, it was fine, right? And then we realized after having our daughter that, yay, we need a nanny. Okay, cool. We went and we got a nanny. And basically for one year, we had this nanny. She was wonderful, but unfortunately, she was usually mostly off sick. And I think she needed to do this thing of twasa or whatever. And it got to a point where it was so bad that she had to leave and go back to Zim. She was wonderful with our kids. But after that, I just didn't have the energy to start over again. And if I'm being honest with you, I also liked the, I don't know. I like the advantage of having my space. I don't know if, you know, it's just me, but I like having my space. Um, as much as our auntie, our nanny respected our space, it still felt yeah i don't know if, if you get what i mean so i made a choice to say um you know what i can do without a nanny the only thing because my daughter had grown she was one by then was for her to start um daycare and so that's when we made the decision for her to start daycare and the decision went fine and i decided to get somebody who can come once a week to help with spring cleaning and ironing those are the two things i hate so i do the washing myself during the week and then she comes does spring clean once and then she will iron which i'm so grateful for that takes the load off my shoulders but sometimes i do miss the perks of having a nanny in terms of let's say you want to do a short weekend away with your husband right <laughs> yeah it's quite tricky because i i find it unfair that I can take my daughter to my sister's place or my brother's place. I find she's still too young and she needs to be taken care of, like from changing the nappy. She doesn't sleep fully all night. Sometimes she wakes up. So it would be tough for her to adjust in a... Yes, Kelly. It would be tough for her to adjust in a different environment. And for me, I was like, mm, you know. So yeah, it, it does come with sacrifices, but... I love the fact that not having a nanny, I have gotten to know my kids so much. Thank you, Gillian. Like, I've gotten to know my kids so much. It's amazing. And... Mm, sorry, this girl wants a piece of apple. I've gotten to know my kids so much, and it's amazing, right? There are things that I didn't know about them because I feel like Auntie was doing most of them. And she had a wonderful relationship with them. So now I know my daughter. I know what she likes. I know what she doesn't like. You know and things like that but yeah it just takes a lot guys because you now have to really force yourself to accommodate your lives with the kids so hence the decision to say school holidays their grandmother wants them so we take them to their grandmother for the school holidays but not all of them obviously the longer ones and then um the other times they are here with us meaning most of the weekends you will see from my vlogs they revolve mostly around our kids because we want to make sure that we keep them entertained so you will try and you try your best to find entertainment that work for both us as parents and the kids which is good but yeah um i would say the advantages of not having an end is that i get to know my kids and you have your space and there isn't an extra person to feed because let's be honest having a stay in nanny means that grocery goes up the utilities bill they go up because from water to electricity everything they're there they are part of individuals that are using those things and they go up whereas not having a nanny the disadvantages are sometimes you really just want to take a quick weekend away and when you still have a little one it's, it's, it's quite difficult uh, but yeah, we'll get around it. I mean, she's growing eventually. She'll be also, she will also be able to visit her uncles and her aunts. But for now, I just prefer keeping her myself. And even when she said her grandmother, because her grandmother takes care of them full time during school holidays, I prefer that she, she's comfortable with her and she understands how to take care of her, you know. But yeah, guys, um, that's just me venting about not having a nanny. Um, I love it and I don't love it. I mean, like, I'm in between because sometimes you really do wish you had someone. And sometimes it can be a lot. Hence, I try and make sure that I take a lot of, of times to take care of me. 
to take care of you know of myself and just look after myself because it can be a lot like it can really be a lot if i'm being honest but at the same time having someone full-time it's um it's money like guys paying a nanny is expensive and on, and on top of that payment you also have to look at things like food electricity you know all these things so that's the reality but yeah it is what it is we're surviving so far we shall survive so yeah i'm quite close to the mall now let me go i'm done venting guys i'm done venting i just had to vent but we're good so now we've just arrived at the mall and i was super hungry so i decided to go to king pie and get a pie because somehow i just enjoyed pie from there so now um i just had to choose a pie i think i ended up going with a long russian but yeah it was quite good and my daughter was like nah i'm not interested i'm fine so yeah i ended up just eating it alone and there is me chowing it and happy and now it was time to start proper shopping So so I spoke to be heavy in my mind can you get the heck out I mean grass now dropping bomb down to so you so you baby 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 I'm on my empty mind shit I should have keep from losing the best of me I will be that I wasted the best of me So I'm back now and my daughter just fell asleep in the car. It was a long shot shopping, but we had a good time. We really had a good time. I just want to show you guys what I got because as much as the shopping was for my daughter you always end up somewhere having to do the other child right you know how it is but yeah i managed to get these two dresses which she chose herself as you can see this one um from Ackermans, and um this one was on a clearance they were clearing it out i think it was like 50 bucks this one from 129 so it was a good deal that's all I got from Ackermans. Those were the dresses I liked. I felt like the other dresses were pretty much the same style, just different colors. So that didn't make sense to me to get all of them. And then I went to Mr. Price. And oh my gosh, I got this cute little number here. Can you see it, guys? Like, I got this and I can imagine this with sneakers. Oh, honey, she would look amazing. And she also loved it herself. Like, one of the things I try and do is when she's on the trolley, she she does sort of pick things. So I sort of do, you know, yeah, get listen to her opinion a little bit. But obviously, mommy's opinion will always, you know. But this is what I got from um, Mr. Price. And then after that, I went to pick and pay clothing. As I said, I scout around. When I shop, I scout around, guys. Like, yeah, I don't really just do one shop. Then pick and pay clothing had this cute, 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 cute little dress. And um ooh, actually before pick and pay clothing. Oh yeah, pick and pay clothing, yeah. Uh why am I confusing? Okay, yeah. This one, pick and pay clothing, and also this little cute dress here, pick and pay clothing. And then this little cute dress over here. I also got at pick and pay clothing. Okay. And then you know, while I was there, I do have the other child, you know, my first one. I actually saw this beautiful, beautiful jean jacket. And he's been wanting a jean jacket for the longest time. I tried to get a size bigger. I'm hoping it will fit him. Especially because he's at his uncle's place. Um, I couldn't wait because the stock might finish. But I got him this bigger size. One thing about a jean jacket is that, yeah, I'm hoping it's going to work out, guys. But, hmm. Or did I dream too big? Because I got 13 to 14. My son is 8. But his body is not 8. So you get what I'm saying. 
but i'm hoping this will fit especially when he wears it more with a style of you know doing that thingy here i think i think he should grow into it remember what <laughs> remember what our parents used to do to say uh they'll buy you a bigger clothes they say you grow into them becoming that parent now nice like you grow into this <laughs> <laughs> but yeah i love this they had one in gray and then they had one in this color and i was like you know what let me go for this color he's been wanting a gin top for the longest time and i kept promising him that i'll get it for him so i hope it's gonna fit him fine otherwise he's just gonna grow into it as i said but yeah all in all ooh, and then i decided to get this here this here this is a power bank guys i've been you know, you look at something at the shop, I think it was like 180 at Pick and Pay, and I've seen very good reviews about it, and I keep saying, mm, maybe I should get it, mm, maybe I shouldn't get it. But then it, it becomes quite difficult when we have power outages for so long, or when I'm out vlogging with my phone, the battery goes uh, flat quite quicker. So when you do have a backup like this, I really do think this would come in very handy for me. So I'm gonna try and make sure it's always fully charged, and um yeah when i got especially when i know i'm gonna vlog I'm just gonna put this in my bag and it should be there it should be good to go we should be okay but yeah this is the power bank guys it's only 180 i actually like it i saw very good reviews about it so i'm gonna try it out and let you know guys and let you guys know how it works but yeah all in all these are the things that i got today the shopping was all about the kids well mainly my daughter but with my son whenever i see something that i like i prefer to just go for it so yeah with shopping that's it we are happy we had a good date with my daughter now it is time to just chill and enjoy the holiday hey guys um so it's my lunch time you know working from home and i've decided to just make a quick u-turn i literally have an hour i'm gonna go to china mall the china mall close to where i live not the one at main reef and what i'm looking for are two things i'm looking for a light and a tripod i tried to check them online and they were quite pricey so i'm hoping if i can go there in china in person i can negotiate and get a good price for both of them but yeah i'm just gonna quickly go now and i'll try and update you guys when i come back for you guys to see it do an unboxing for you guys to see what i got but i'll not be able to vlog when i'm there because it can get quite packed and especially now with lunch time most people go there but let me go and try and negotiate and hope for the best and hope that i can get the things that i'm looking for but yeah i'll try and vlog when i come back i will do a video for you guys to see if i got what i'm looking for you know their products and their electronic and their systems all that that's what the bill is for they are a Did I not negotiate for my life? Hmm. I negotiated today. Yes, I've negotiated before, but never like today. Today I negotiated. I was standing my ground. So the good news is I managed to get everything that I wanted and for a very good price. All this that you see was 1000 I'll tell you guys what the original prices were, but let me quickly just unbox for you guys to see. Because as I said, I'm investing in my content, which is so important for me. As we are growing, um, I'm grateful. And yeah. Uh, so, I got this here. This tripod here. And it's in the color, I think it's like bronze or something. But I love, love, love it. And it is long, it is steady. So, let me quickly open it up for you to see. And bonus, it comes with this little bag here so i can just put it like on my bag if i'm traveling and i want to vlog and get good content i can still use this and then here as i open it it comes with sorry this is the the tripod then it comes with this to attach the phone and then let me quickly just show you how long the legs are so yeah that's how long the legs are so i love it and it is quite nice and steady so i was uh, very happy with this deal this was originally pricing for 350 but managed to negotiate it down because honey this girl wasn't there to play and then um before that let me show you this this here this here this baby 
these are baby right here you see this baby right here this is what i've been dreaming to get um for my sit down videos because it can get quite difficult with the lighting sometimes um it's not sunny and then you need to record a sit down video and the light is just not good so i decided to invest in this and when i checked this on take a lot this was trading for around 800 900 even macro pretty much same price and i was like hell to the no i know those people buy from chinese people meaning that if i can go them negotiate i can probably get it for a lower price and that's exactly what i did so let me show you let me show you um let me try and open this but mm, i'm happy i am happy to finally finally get this i'm actually doing it upside down but look here you see this is how it comes so it's the light it's the cable and it also has the remote so we have the cable over here and then over here we have the remote which you can control the brightness of the light and stuff like that and then here oh, i'm gonna try and take it out without breaking it i'm too excited but here oh, sorry we have this light here so this light was trading for 900 and i managed to negotiate it down as i said i got everything for 1000 which was a very good deal because looking at take a lot i was going to spend around 1.5 so these things are just expensive so to be able to go there negotiate in person really helped me i saved up quite a few bucks so that i am very happy with this product to be honest with you and then it also comes with a stand this is the stand right here oh sorry here yeah that's the stand for the light but yeah guys um i got it for a very good price and i'm happy and i'm glad i went because honey investing in my content is so important um we are growing my channel is growing and i'm quite happy i'm quite proud of myself so i thought to celebrate um other subscribers let's you know add some new equipment onto our content because my tripod uh, gave up on me after doing the most but i was like it's okay let's just invest in content right now i don't think i'm in a stage where i want to buy a camera yet no using using my phone is so good enough as we grow and we start to make you know some money maybe off youtube then yeah i can consider getting a camera but i just feel right now using what i have is so important but yeah i am very happy with this bye guys anyway that is the end of my vlog for this week i hope you guys enjoyed it um yeah for more content coming up next week and hopefully um i'm just gonna quickly before actually ending this vlog let me quickly set up everything so that you guys can see it in full i'll try and set up the light and see how it works and show you guys the final product and how it looks but yeah okay guys this is the tripod this here as you can see it is quite long I love it i love it and then this here is the light um it can go as long as i want it to go i just need to adjust it here but let me quickly plug it in for you guys to see just how bright this can go you see this is me in front of the light and it's not even at its brightest like can you see can you see the difference in this light and i love the fact that i can adjust it whether i'm cooking or sitting down i can adjust it nicely the way i want but guys guys look at that glow with this light i love it i love it i love it guys this will be the end of my vlog thank you so much for watching please don't forget to leave this to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe guys like subscribe subscribe and you can also do notifications so that you can be part of the notification gang immediately when i post you will know that i've posted and you're gonna see the latest video but yeah i'm quite happy with my buy and i'm glad i went for this shopping